Today, we are going to get to know your Ozobot. You will need an Ozobot Evo, a pencil, and a get to know Evo activity sheet. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to identify Evo's hardware. What is hardware? Hardware can be defined as the physical parts of a computer or robot. As we go through the different hardware components of the bot, follow along on your activity sheet and label the different parts of Evo. Evo is a line following robot you can program two ways. Color codes made with markers and with Ozobot Blockly, which is block coding on a computer or tablet. You'll learn all about these two ways to code in upcoming lessons. On the activity sheet, there is a front view of the bot, a side, back, and bottom view of the bot. First, Evo has three types of sensors, proximity, line following, and color. The proximity sensors can be programmed in Ozobot Blockly to detect objects in front and behind the bot. You can see the proximity sensors on the front and back of the bot. One of Evo's features is that it can follow lines. Underneath the bot, towards the front, there is a row of line following sensors. These sensors allow Evo to see and follow a drawn line. Evo can detect and respond to colors using the color sensors located underneath Evo between the wheels. Find these sensors on the bot and label your activity sheet. Evo has six LED lights. There is one on top of Evo and five on the front. Evo's LEDs will display colors based on the color line it is following, or Evo's LEDs can be programmed with Ozobot Blockly. Find the LEDs on your bot and on your activity sheet. Evo uses wheels, a motor, and a battery to move. The motor and battery are not visible from the exterior of the bot, but are connected to the wheels. Evo can be programmed to play sounds with Ozobot Blockly. The speaker can be found on the front of the bot. Look through the clear plastic between the front proximity sensors. The speaker is under the mesh screen. Find and label the wheels and speaker on your activity sheet. Next, look at the top of the bot. You'll see a round board called the motherboard. The components on the motherboard control the robot. Towards the front of the board, there is a tiny white rectangular prism. This is Evo's antenna. The antenna allows for Bluetooth connectivity. Find the antenna on your bot and on the activity sheet. There are two ways to charge Evo. You can find the micro USB charging port on the back of the bot, or there are two charging contacts on the bottom of Evo. Evo fully charges in about one hour. The LED lights will turn solid green when it's finished charging. On a full charge, the battery life is about one hour. Find and label the micro USB port and charge contacts on the activity sheet. Evo's power button is on the side. The power button can be used for more than turning your bot on and off. It is also used to calibrate Evo sensors. To learn more about calibrating Evo, check out the Introduction to Color Codes basic training lesson. Find and label the power button on your activity sheet. Now that you know more about Evo's hardware, come back again soon to learn more about how you can program